For the first part of this problem, we want to estimate the limit of the function x over square root of 1 plus 3x minus 1 as x approaches 0 using its graph. Now using Desmos, you have this graph of the function. And we can see that as x approaches 0, either from the left side of 0 or right side of 0, the value of the function is approaching 0 0.667. So this is approximately 0 0.667. Next, we want to use a table to determine the estimated value of the limit of this function. In this table of values, we will use x values close to 0 from the left and from the right. So we can have negative 0 0.1 and then negative 0 0.001 and negative 0 0.00001. For the right side, we will use 0 0.00001, 0 0.001, and 0 0.1. When x is equal to negative 0 0.1, the value of the function is approximately 0 0.61222. When if, or when x is negative 0 0.001, the value of the function is approximately 0 0.666166. If it's negative 0 0.00001, we have 0 0.66666. If it's positive 0 0.00001, the value is approximately 0 0.66667. If it's 0 0.001, we have 0 0.6672. And if it's 0 0.1, we have... 0 0.71339. Looking at these values here, we find that as x goes closer to 0, either from the left or from the right, the value is approaching 0 0.666. And then lastly, we want to evaluate the limit manually. So for the limit, as x goes to 0 of x over the square root of 1 plus 3x minus 1, we're going to multiply this by its conjugate. We have limit. So x approaches 0 of x over square root of 1 plus 3x minus 1 times square root of 1 plus 3x plus 1 over square root of 1 plus 3x plus 1. That's going to equal limit. So x goes to 0 of x times square root of 1 plus 3x plus 1 all over 1 plus 3x minus 1. It's going to give us... Limit as x goes to 0 of square root of 1 plus 3x plus 1 over 3. And if we evaluate this as 0, we have square root of 1 plus 0 plus 1 over 3, or that's 2 over 3, which is approximately 0 0.66.